What is going on guys? It's your boy Slick and today I want to talk about German teams and why they don't do so hot. Now I guess this is applicable for any time a team does bad, right? But I could actually see the visible reason that this match went south. So I figured we'd jump into the replay and kind of talk about it. So here I am in a Leopard A1A1. I had a fantastic game. We still lost, spoiler alert. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about why. So I'm just going to close that and close that and we'll press play. So Leopard A1A1 on desert, American desert. This map is boo-boo. <laughs> to say lightly, right? It's boo-boo. I didn't even see that chopper, did I? I guess not. I probably would have shot at him if I saw him. You guys know me. But um, yeah, German teams. I, I mean, it's not just German teams. Teams lose, right? It's completely understandable. I've lost multiple times in my War Thunder career and I'm sure you guys have too. This one was such a noticeable loss though because of why we lost. How many times can I say lost in one video? But to cut this short, and if you really just want to know, I'm not going to string you out for 10 minutes to make sure you get to it. There were about half our team, about half of our team decided to not spawn a second time. I don't know if this was because of bad lineups. Now that I'll pop this out real quick and we'll just pause this. Actually, we can just keep going. You'll see in the background. Uh, we don't have any premiums, really. We have one L44. Now, this was a kind of big question. We're in a down tier. We're one of the only 8.7s in this match. So it was a good lineup for us. I mean, if you take a look at the other team, pretty good lineup. Pretty good match. And we have a lot of, you know, things in our favor. I guess you could say. So we go for a wide flank, but half of our team decided to only spawn once. Once they died, that was it. Didn't respawn, didn't bring a lineup. I don't know if it's because they didn't bring a lineup. I don't know if it's because they didn't want to keep playing, but it hurt us so bad that we lost this match. The enemy team had one guy who died once and then quit the game. One. That was it. Just one. Everybody else spawned two or more times to continue on this onslaught. And that's what lost was this match. I mean, as bad as it sounds, I'm five of us, to, I think it was probably more like eight, the top half of this team, right? Let's just start from here. About this many people spawn more than once. Everybody else let us die. And uh, it caused us terrible, just a terrible loss that we did not need. We could have completely won this game, completely toasted them. One, two, three, four, five people already out of this match. I haven't even, I just got my first two kills. That was it. So we have two people completely out and a third guy who doesn't know if he wants to leave, gone. Three guys completely gone. Let's take a look at the enemy team. One guy, and that's the guy who only died once and didn't come back. So we're already at a two-man disadvantage. Other people are spawning up and continuing to play. I cannot stress this enough, and I get sometimes you want to just play one tank and i'm guilty of doing that myself but if you do that make sure you get some kills if you don't get kills with your one tank lineup you're just a detriment to the team it would have been better had you not even joined the game and i'm not trying to sound mean or negative towards people and i know there are a lot of people who play germany i'm not trying to just target you guys um that play and bring lineups and whatnot but it's a bit ridiculous when you are thinking that just spawning once will be enough to win a battle and then you get mad as to why you're dying and why you don't have the experience to continue to spawn and this is proof for the pudding i guess uh to say it lightly and i'm sorry that this is kind of all over the place it's not scripted i don't usually script these videos i figured i'd just talk about it but i can't stress enough bring a lineup bring other tanks yes down tiers suck if you're a leopard one in an 8-7 match, you're not having a good time. I understand that completely. I've been on that side. But quitting is not... Give your teammates some, some justice. Give them some backbone. Help them out. Don't think that just because you spawned once, it's a bad match up for you, it's a bad lineup, that you now get to just leave the game and not spawn the rest of your vehicles. One seven seven tank that dies as cannon fodder is better than no 7-7 tank not in the match. So we already have five guys who have completely dropped this, this match. They still only have one. The rest of their team respawning in whatever they can get. We even have a T-29 
So you think it was bad being in a 7-7. Imagine being in a T29 in this game, and this guy is still going after it, man. He's still trying to go get the dub for his team. And I respect that. I have nothing but respect for that. It's just terrible, and it's so apparent as to why we lost this. Uh, it, it's almost crazy. It's like, why would you even spawn in? Why would you even play this game if you think that's the case? I understand completely about being, you know, down-tiered, and it sucks. 7-7, seven, seven, you have heat FS, you gotta fight T55 AMs. Just play a little bit more cautious and try to do the best for your team. Just know that even if you die and there's a teammate near you and you stick near your team, you can be the deciding factor if your teammate gets the kill or not. And that's another enemy that's not going to come back after you or has to spawn in, in their spawn and what, so on and so forth. So uh, there goes their second guy who's completely out of the game. But he spawned twice, if you uh, remember correctly. We're still down five. Five people completely done. Uh, we do have a whirlwind, you know. That's that's not the best appropriate lineup, but you can kind of see that the dude's trying at least, right? And we have a cool goal, which again isn't a real appropriate lineup, but he's trying, and uh, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I appreciate people trying <laughs> to spawn, but lineups. This is something that we don't really talk about, especially us YouTubers, right? I make a video on one tank. I'll say, hey. This is the Leopard A1A1. This is the OF40 Mark II A. This is why I like it. This is how good this tank is. But we forget that ground forces doesn't work like that. It's a respawn based game mode. You can't just take one tank and that be it. Now I've done this in the past, like I said. I have just taken one tank and uh, you know, died off the bat. Most of the time it's for content, and as much as I want to say that that's all right, it's not. It would be me being a bit of a hypocrite, and I'm sorry. I'm going to do my best to not do that anymore. If I don't have a good match in the vehicle I'm trying to make a video on, I'll spawn again and uh, at least attempt to help the team. Sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes you don't have enough to spawn. But now with the new SP system, you can always spawn a second vehicle. You can, even if you die right off the bat, there's something you can spawn in. So I think it's just negligence towards having a lineup or people being sick of getting up-tiered. And while it, it happens for everybody, there are people on the other team who are low tier. There's an M18, you know? And there, there's finally their third guy. There goes their third guy. So they have three out of the game. We've had five out of the game for a while. There goes our six. So we have six guys out of the game. They have three. We have double the number of people who are half. And look at that bullshit, right? It was heat at... Uh, Hesh actually bounced and didn't hole break a BMP1, which is just unfathomable. That being said, if I quit the game, I would be just as bad as the other people. So I spawn another vehicle and I continue to try. By the way, I did get eight kills in that life. Eight in that uh, initial life, which is crazy. You should never lose a game, in my opinion, and I'm sure you guys feel the same. You should never lose a game where you have that many kills eight people i did my tank right my life and then eight or seven more tanks so i accounted for my leopard a1a1 and seven other tanks which is what you strive to do you want to always kill more than the tanks you're spawning if you have a higher kd ratio the match should go in your favor and you can pick up some slack for people who are having a bad game or simply aren't doing well. I'm not saying I'm immune to that. I don't play. I don't get eight kill games every life I spawn in the A1A1. And I don't think anybody does. That's not what I'm trying to express. I'm just trying to talk about having a little bit of heart and a little bit of courage to just continue on. Keep playing the game. Uh, a lot of people don't grind out planes with their lineups. They think that, hey, I'm going to get the 2A5 and grind that out and that's going to be it. That's not how this game works, sadly. You need all the vehicles. You need planes, you need tanks, you need light vehicles, you need AA. My best advice to you guys if you're grinding coming up in this game is, um, you know, grind everything. Grind a little bit of everything. As, as bad as that tank, that top tier tank that you're really striving for, as bad as you wanna just grind as fast as possible to it, if you grind the entire lineup, you will have a much easier time playing the full game of War Thunder. It won't just be nonsense, one death matches and then continuously hopping in another one. If you stick in a match for longer, you play a longer match, let's say it's going to be a 15 minute match, you'll get more RP for that anyway. RP is already low, so 
in my opinion, I think you should take what you can get by stretching out your lives, stretching out as long as you can. So here they finally have four people down or five people down. But remember those five people uh, or those four people above the guy on the very bottom all spawn more than once. Our team, we had six people who didn't spawn more than once. We actually had eight, I think, that didn't spawn more than once. So I'm sure you guys who are watching this can see. If you got to bring a Panther 2 into an 8-7 match because of a down tier, so be it. It's better than not bringing a Panther 2, not bringing a backup, not bringing anything in to help your team out. So that's long story short. I know I've kind of been rambling. It's hard to explain really what I'm trying to get at. But basically, you need to grind everything in this game. War Thunder is not the type of game where you get a one life search and destroy as game mode. It's a team deathmatch. It's constant spawning, pushing for caps, navigating the map, helping your team out, helping people repair if you're a light tank. That's what's gonna get you wins. It's not spawning once, leaving the game when you decided you're defeated. Uh, and it sucks because not just people like me, but the people on the team that are putting in the work, putting in the extra spawns, uh, are actually paying more in SL every match just because they are continuously dying and they're still trying. I wasted backups this match because I wanted to keep, I wanted the dub. I, I was like, wow, eight kills? I should definitely, this, this match should be in the bag. And it just wasn't. And uh, this was actually a stream match. I don't know if I mentioned that. So I pressed the tab button to check and I was like, well, look at the, look at the scores. You can clearly see why we're losing this. The enemy team is throwing way more people on the cap. They've had more people in the game longer and we've just been stuck with the, the five to six guys who are really continuously spawning, continuously going. But sadly, it's too little too late. It's not enough. Uh, unless everybody that was on this team was, you know, using their ESP God mode elite gamer status, there was no way we were going to win this. And that's just how it goes. So if I can give anybody who's newer to War Thunder, who's newer to top tier, any advice, even lower tiers, this 100% works, Continue to grind vehicles, bring out lineups, continue to work on the modules on each individual tank. And if you want to play one tank or two tanks, just go play arcade because RB is not the place for you. This is what causes losses. This is what causes a, a lot of issues with people playing. And this is why you get mad or why I get mad at War Thunder, why teammates get mad at War Thunder and why people are always like, Germany's suffering, Russia's suffering, America's suffering. This isn't an issue with German vehicles at all, even though I titled it that like Germany, the reason German, Germany loses matches, but this is more of a broad problem. It's the player base. It's people playing the game who don't care enough to bring out a full lineup or don't care enough to uh, try to win a match. And it's kind of sad. It's sad to see, you hate to see it. Uh, I definitely do, especially when I put in the work to get a dub and this is how it goes down. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, it was a heartbreak. I did end up getting one more kill, I think, or two more kills, uh, but it was too little, too late, not enough to get anything done, and we're pretty much dead. If you felt like this video was a little too scatterbrained for you and you don't understand what I'm saying, I'm sorry, I'm flustered. <laughs> I'm slick flustered. Uh, but if you enjoy the video and you get what I'm saying, if you're one of those people who spawns once, uh, just vow to me that you're gonna change your ways, man. If you have to go back to lower tiers to grind the rest of your vehicles out, do that. Don't put yourself in a position where you don't have a lineup at any given tier. If you are if you have all the 6-7 tanks, you have one 7-7 seven, seven tank, why don't you grind the 6-7 tanks until you get most of the 7-7 seven, seven tanks and then play 7-7 seven, seven to get your modules, etc., etc. Everything's a, sl a slow progression in this game as much as it sucks and we want things as fast as possible, I get that. It just doesn't work out that way sometimes. I think you'll have a better experience if you play a full lineup in a match. You'll start to end up on top of the team. You'll see yourself doing more. And then you'll be on the receiving end of losing a match where you get 11 kills. And then you have no, no, no other option but to side with me on that one. So I love you guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll be live uh, tomorrow on stream about 11 a.m. EST. And as soon as this video, oh, actually, I guess I'm going to stream right now. 
while I'm recording this. So I'll, this video will be out after I stream, I guess. I don't know. And if you don't know what my stream name is, I'm not going to link it. It's Slickby. <laughs> you can find it on Twitch. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. As always, it's been your boy, Deuces.